In this video, we'll be working with the RSS function in Zapier. You'll learn how to use RSS by Zapier, and that will allow you to aggregate and curate content. We'll be using Zapier and Google Sheets in this tutorial. We'll be using the free plan for each tool, and we'll extract data from Paul Graham's RSS feed. For convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. Let's begin by setting up RSS by Zapier. I've located an RSS feed that I want to track. I'll be using Paul Graham's RSS feed. If you wish to track a different RSS feed, please do. Moving on, you'll want to go to Zapier. Of course, make sure you're logged in. Once you've logged into your Zapier account, click Create Zap. The first function that you'll want to find and select is RSS by Zapier. From the drop down, you'll want to select New Item in Feed. The reason being, we're watching one RSS feed. If you were watching multiple RSS feeds, then you'd choose the other option. However, let's stick with our choice of a single RSS feed. Once you've done that, click Continue. Under Feed URL, we must enter the URL for the RSS feed that we want to track. Let me switch over to the RSS feed I want to track, and I'll just want to copy the link address, then go back to Zapier and paste it into the area provided. We don't need any authentication to access this RSS feed, hence we can leave username and password blank, and let's leave the trigger as the recommended setting. Now click continue. From here, we can test our trigger. When you click test trigger, a feed item from the RSS feed will show if you set up the RSS feed correctly. It won't show every RSS feed item, it will only show one, but that confirms it's working. Congratulations on setting up RSS in Zapier. Let's add another zap to our RSS feed automation in Zapier. We want the zap to come after RSS by Zapier. And what that zap should be is Google Sheets. And we want to set the action event for this to create spreadsheet row. And once you've done that, click continue. Now at this point, you'll be required to connect your Google Sheets account to Zapier. It's a one-click process. Once you've done that, and once you've selected your account, you can click Continue. And now we can go through the process of linking this specific Google Sheet. A quick note, for this project, I created an empty Google Sheet titled Content Creation, which you can see here. Hence, I'll be using that spreadsheet to complete our project. So let's go back to Zapier, and specify that spreadsheet. So drive, I'll want to select my Google Drive. The spreadsheet was content curation, which I can see here. And the worksheet, there was only one worksheet within that Google Sheet, and it was labeled Sheet. As the Google Sheet contains headers, we'll see our Zap expand. It will read those headers and allow us to map data into those specific columns. In the first column, I want the title of the post. And in the second, which is link, I want the link to the piece of content. And once you've done that, we can click continue. And again, at this point, we'll want to test our automation. So let's click test and review. And within moments, we will see our RSS feed automation complete. The output will get displayed in Google Sheets. And if I switch over to Google Sheets, you'll see that the title and the link for the piece of content from the RSS feed now show. And if we go back to Zapier, we can of course turn on our Zap. From here on out, it would activate whenever a new item gets pushed into the RSS feed, i.e. whenever Paul Graham publishes a new essay on his website. The project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like.
And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish regularly, please subscribe. I'll see you in another NoCo project.